Well, good Sunday morning to y'all. Let me make sure my sound's coming through. Well, good there we go. To you. Always the same routine. Someday I'll have a big old producer to take care of that stuff for me, but I doubt it. That's okay. Good morning. Say good morning, Scooter. There you go. Good guy. This is always when I have the most fun, when it's really entertaining, when my voice is this low and my reaction times are this slow. We're going to start off a little bit chill. Uh, look at this. Look at all these ships that are coming back. I wonder how many are damaged. These guys, I can't really tell. Nobody looks yellow up here. They seem to be doing a better job of not getting themselves hurt, which I truly appreciate. Yeah, we're going to slow roll into this. Um, I'm going to bring these boats back. And then I'm going to head down to the settlement, see what's going on down there. Take care of whatever business I need to take care of. There you go. Money, units. I love it. You guys are my favorite so far. But don't get too cocky because I got more ships to check here. But that is good money. Thank you, boys. Viking daggers. Always welcome. Here at this site, have not quite figured out what to use that for yet. Rare pelts. Yikes. I don't think I've seen those. Hmm. You know what? I am going to... I think I have a trade scanner in my new ship. If not, I'm going to put one in there. I'm going to take these down to that archive thing. I didn't... I didn't really read what it said, though. I needed to go back and do that. I want to see. Let me see. Did it put it in my freighter or in my bodysuit? Yikes. Yikes. When did this get so full? Oh, man. Oh, inventory space. I'm going to have to make that a priority here real quick. Let's sell off what I can sell off here. I got no rooms in my bodysuit. Um, see, I shouldn't have that dihydrogen jelly in there. Oh, that's right. I went hunting and I got all this stuff. I won't do that on time. I'm just selling a bunch of stuff. I have become a horrible, horrible loot goblin. I should not have any of that stuff on me. Pyrite, right, that's a little rare. I think we might, we're going to make a trip over to ye old storage area. Get rid of a bunch of this stuff. I've been growing that, so I can always get more. I can kill some, uh... There we go. Let's move over here, see what else we can sell. Most of this stuff should go in the freighter, but I don't think I have any room in the old freighter. Viking Dagger. I think I have used the two that I need to use for that quest, but I don't really know. I'm just going to go ahead and sell you. I said I was going to take you down to the planet, but I have lied. I have lied horribly. Anything in here I can get rid of? No, we'll keep you. <coughs> pardon me. Pardon me. Pardon me and mine. I'm not coughing. Let's see what these guys got. Nobody's injured here either. This is awesome. I won't have to worry about any repairs. That's cool. All right, what do you got? What do you have? Granite, acrylic, love it. I should have just probably waited, but I was pretty full on my inventory to go over there and sell everything. Usually I wait until I get all these ships uh, disembarked. That's not the word I'm looking for. Unloaded. Good Lord, 212 units. I don't think I've ever seen a return that low. Oh, we're going to have to talk about that in the report, fellers. Let me look. I don't... Do I have any more over here? Huh. What happened to me other ships? Let me go and check over here and see if anybody is injured. Boy, I hope nobody got destroyed. I don't think they would. They would show up as red ships there just to let me know they ain't here anymore. No, here's what I want. Oh, wait, hold on. I just discovered something. I think. Yeah, I don't have to run around the table. I can do everything from one place. I just point at it. Okay. That's going to help in the future. Anybody injured? Doesn't look like any of my birds are in bad shape. I'm not going to do it right now because... 
I'm gonna have to make quite a bit of fuel if he's got like five. Yep, he does. So let's go down to the uh, settlement. Usually that stuff is pretty quick to take care of. Come back up here, send some birds out, and then we'll get to some questing. I do hope you guys are doing well this morning. It's a beautiful sunny day here where I am. Absolutely gorgeous and chilly. You know, I I think I'm just gonna get yeah, you know what? Forgive me guys. I gotta just put this up. Oh great. 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 That's what you're gonna do to me first thing in the morning. Where's my hold on, where's my bolt caster? There it is. Yep, these guys are coming. Okay. Okay, this is going to be a nice little wake up, I guess. Don't you hide back there. Alright. How's your health, Scooter? You look like you're alright. I don't see any damage at all so far. Oh, there's a little damage now. I don't see any of those, uh... Um, repair ones, which I hate. Oh, how's his health? How's his health? I gotta keep an eye on his health. I just wanna get this one guy and then get indoors. Whoops! I hit the wrong thing on my mouse pad. This is much different early in the morning. Scooter, I'm so sorry, but they interrupted my coffee for this nonsense. Here we go. Here we go. Get a little, uh, get recouped, get back out here. How many of these things? Okay. Hey, buddy, you're not really doing much this time. What are you doing just hanging out up there? Do you not see what's going on? How about you hit these guys a little bit? Daddy needs his coffee. Yeah, you got your... I like that. You're looking at it. You're not doing anything. Okay. Let's see where this is going. Alright. I think we're going to be alright. This is just... Uh, uh, it's interesting. There is not a ton of action in this game, usually. Where are they? There he is. Where is he? I might have to change the filter I've been using because it makes these guys sometimes borderline impossible to see. And... I don't see the damage bar above him, which is normally there. That's interesting. I think there's only one more left. Well, I think I answered a question that I had for myself. Um, that sentinel um, alert level goes up when you're offline because that thing was very low last night. That's all right. See there, not a any no hill for a climber. Peter knows what he's doing. Now we can get to business. Here we go. I got discombobulated. Well, I did. I got a bunch of that. Uh, what do you get from those guys? Mordite? Well, let me check and see. Yeah, got a bunch of mordite, broken glass. I didn't have to save that stuff, and I knew it. I knew it. Let's see what we got going on here. <laughs> ah. Hope that wasn't too loud in your ears. Alright. Scout Gek. Etrucator? Says they were brought to us by a whispering voice. Hmm. You on those, uh, hills again? They have traveled through a black hole and now share the words they heard beyond the horizon. First spawn, blah, 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 is blah. They ask if we might spare a trinket in exchange for their message. <clears throat> yeah, whatever, I don't care. Wait, before I do that, let me see if it's collection time. Yep, yeah, I'll get this at least. I'm gonna put you in the roamer. Uh, you I'll put in my suit, because you sell for good money. The star bulbs are not as lucrative as I hoped. Yeah, we're gonna do your thing here. I've got my stuff. What's it going to do for me? Blessed by the waters. Happiness improved by 5%. 
Look at that. Oh, productivity is maxed. Awesome. I'll have to find some ways to get that maintenance done. Probably do have to do something to make the citizenry unhappy. That always seems to be the trade-off. I'm going to go ahead and sell this down here. Okay. I got several galactic terminals down here at my disposal. And not with much great hope. But I'm going to look and see if they got any gel. No, nope, of course not. Or tritium. They do not. I'm going to be needing that in spades here in a second. Hmm. I'm going to go ahead and sell that. I'll need it eventually, but I haven't seen a need for it yet. Every time... Actually, it might be a good... Uh, what do I want to say? A good... I'm going to sell you. Sort of plan to sell stuff. Because as soon as I sell things, it seems like a quest comes up where I need it. So uh, I, I really don't think there's a direct correlation. But it seems to, in my mind, always precipitate something exciting. But then I've just sold it and I have to go find it again. Not a big deal. <clears throat> so, so sorry. Hold on. <clears throat> I, uh, these chilly mornings in the fall always takes me a little while for my voice to adapt. But right now it's got that mellifluous timbre that I like so much. It sounds like I'm doing an NPR, as one of the viewers pointed out. Oh, last week sometime. It sounds like a, you know, a podcast. I don't think they said NPR. I added the NPR. That's what that reminds me of when I go back and listen to it. <clears throat> okay, enough. Enough of your talk. Let's just get to business. All right, let's go to this one first. Mm, what do we have? That's a good trade ship. I only need three stars. I don't really know how much fuel I have, but I'm going to find out here in a second. There we go, three stars. I have enough for this mission. You're gone. Go ahead and send this. This is going to be a long voyage. We're going to see this these people for a while, unless they get... Uh, 22. Okay. Might only need two ships for this one, too. Mm, I got a lot of ships to go through now. 20. Yeah, the one on this other page looks like it's better suited. No. And we do not have enough fuel, so I'm not even going to... I'm not even going to play with it because I got to go make more. Now is the time for the fuel making. Come on, Scooter. Let's make some fuel. Uh, I'm pretty sure I need... Uh, I'm making an assumption here I shouldn't make. Um, What do I need? It's not even telling me. Hmm. Boy, this thing is full, full, full. God, this has no storage in here. I'm beginning to understand why people seek out... I was talking the other day about kind of like having a C-class that you have to build up from the ground up, and I do. I'm sticking with that. But sometimes when I look at it and I see no inventory, I'm like, hmm, maybe find it in an S-class. It's not so bad. But that's all right. Uh, trying to economize and figure this stuff out is part of the game, as far as I am concerned. Let's go over here and try it over here. What? Oh, that's why it's not telling me I need anything, because I don't need anything. Now what do I need? Dihydrogen. <clears throat> good. Good, 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 good. Because I have that. Or at least I've got the fixins to make that. Awesome. I'm going to put you in the freighter. Do I, oh, please tell me I got some more dihydrogen jelly. I love me some dihydrogen jelly first thing in the morning on a little bit of toast. With some sausages. Mm -mm. You're going to go home and tell your mama, I guarantee. There we go. I'm just going to convert all this if I can. Oops. Didn't hold that E key long enough. Get you whipped up. Go ahead and make the rest of it. Might as well. Going to use it all up here. 
I think I should have enough for this next mission, but I'm going to have to be making some more of this. I'm going to run out of tritium here soon. Oh, good. It's uh, cooking it up good here. I might end up getting enough in one batch. Goodness, 21, 22, 23. All right. <clears throat> Let's go give this a shot. I've come back with much fuel. Show me your itinerary, sir. All right, let's try this again. Oh, well, you know what? This one's taking a lot because it's such a long ship. Uh, such a long trip. Not a long ship. Let's see. I think, yeah, that's only going to be two. What's the next one? 19. And trade. Is that the highest I got? Yeah. Let's try this one. Yep, that's three. Yep, let's save on some fuel. Um, that is a good limiter on how many ships you can send out. I kind of like the way they do the economy in this so far. Let's try this one because it's shorter. Uh, what do we look at? 31. I shouldn't need another ship with you. <clears throat> nope. But I do like sending them out for the experience, but I don't want to make more fuel, so let's just send them. He's probably going to end up banged up, but it's a short trip, so... Hopefully, when he gets banged up and I'm not watching, he will be all right. What are we looking at here? Two-star difficulty? And what is it? A balanced... Ex Hold on. Balanced expedition. That's what I figured. Nothing was highlighted. So... Send him out. Uh, I don't like that. I, I want to send somebody who needs experience. Will this work? No. Good lord. Really? That many? It's only 150, though, so it might be worth it. I'm going to send all you boys. Go. Go. Fly. Be free. I need you up to S class. I need you to take some responsibility. Get in the fight, boys. And ladies. All right. I don't think. Oh, good. Really? Really? Okay. He's not a very good ship. I don't know yet. I've been wondering if, you know, they go up in experience, which is great, in class. I wonder if as you give them more experience, these red star or red dots go away. The places in the ship that are not functioning very well. All right, we're going <clears> to... <throat> nah, 20 hours. This guy's never going to make it 20 hours. Let me see if I can assign one more. Hmm. I really don't want to send the S-Class because he seems like he's maxed out and I don't think those stats go up anymore. Let me let me keep going. And see, yeah, that that's a, that's a ship too far there. <clears throat> all right, we'll do these two. And I think that's all I can do, right? That's why he sent me back out here. Yeah, yeah, Squawks of Hope. Okay, there we go. There we go. We're good. Let me check this out here. Oh, look at all my ships flying in their holographic spaces. All right. We are golden. Okay. And I think I just saw it saying, yeah, 15 minutes. They're going to be uh, concocting some harebrained plan down there. Let's just let's get this stuff off here. I'm going to try this stuff. Hmm. Uh, you know what? I said that about selling things and then immediately needing it right here. Right here. I had tons of that stuff. And now it is gone. All right. I'll try and keep that in mind next time. Let's, uh, let's try and figure out what this guy needs. Get this off the books. After planting, wait, okay. Oh, oh, you know what? Uh, I just realized that this plant was going to take forever to grow and I think it's ready. So I think... This is what we need. Give me a hundred, you better, so I can finish this quest. Nice. Okay, this is gonna go a little bit faster than I thought. Yes, it has bloomed, thank you. Is it ready, friend? Can I see it? Jesus, relax, it's just cactus, it's not going anywhere. I only have two plants left to show you. Mm, thanks for the warning, because if I did one more and then you came back and said, I need you to do one more, I would have been irritated. Your training is almost complete, friend. I'm so proud. Wow, I wish that meant more to me, Gek friend. Star Bramble. 
Oh, shut up. I just sold almost all those. I should have more down there. I think, actually, I put them in the exocraft, so I think we're okay. I was about to get really irritated, and then I thought, mm, let's hold off on the irritation. I want to share something with you, something beautiful, beyond compare. Star bulbs are grown from the rarest star brambles found on lush worlds, unspoiled by war or death. No, actually, they're in my vehicle down on the planet, but thank you, sir. This is why I wanted to become a farmer, to tend to such sublimity. Good lord, are you sure you wasn't to use your vocabulary like that? Trader Avif Afaf wishes for me to use the hydroponics trade to grow star brambles. I accept your challenge, sir. And your word a day. Excellent. I must go and speak to the overseer. Apparently, they are unhappy with my performance. Perhaps this crop will change their mind. Oh, you guys work it out. Work it out amongst yourselves. I don't think I have enough. I think I gotta go make it make it just a quick stop down to the planet and get some star bulbs. I'm glad I didn't just wholesale get rid of these things. That would have been travesty spoken incorrectly on purpose how you are this morning i see a couple of viewers out there welcome good to see you if you're of the mind too drop a like i won't be so audacious as you subscribe unless you want to <laughs> nah I, don't, I mean i wouldn't say i don't care but i watch a lot of stuff and you know somebody wants decides i wants to come back that's always awesome. They don't. I get it. I get it. I get it. I know what's going on out there with you people. I'm cool with the kids. Boy, I never said any. I don't know. It's been a long time since something made me sound like such an old guy. But I did it. I think that did it. I know what the kids are talking about. I've been around for a minute. First time a friend of mine used that phrase around me. Good Lord. Good Lord. It was embarrassing. I showed up someplace and he was there. I was really early and he was already there. I'm like, wow. Did you just get here? He said, no, I've been here for a minute. And I was totally confused. I'm like, well, a minute's not that long, is it? <laughs> I didn't say that out loud, but he saw the look on my face and he just started laughing. He was like, no, let me explain to you. My friend, I'm going to learn you. And I said, 23 skidoo, that's awesome. Okay, what are we looking at here? How much time? Three hours, 59 minutes, that ain't bad. Um, sir, I have planted it, and it's putting an icon over your head. I think I'm supposed to talk to you. The star brambles have bloomed, yes? Oh, that's right. I planted it. I probably didn't even need to plant it. I probably just going to go, but that's all right. We'll have some star bulbs over there. Pass them over for exam. Pass them over for examination. Okay. Then only one task remains. What does his head look like? <clears throat> okay, this is a really obscure reference and idea, but honestly, my first impression it looks like limestone. I've only seen pictures of the white cliffs of Dover, but I think this guy's head was made from the cliffs of Dover. Anyway, then only one task remains. More dead root. Oh, good. Look at this. Oh, my God. I'm so dumb. That's the exact stuff I was down there selling, saying, I'm going to need that in about five minutes. And there it is. I, I cannot pretend to be a farmer anymore. <clears throat> the overseers made it clear. I must be as the others of my species are. I must trade, sell, accumulate. Come on, buddy. Don't give up on your dreams. You're a great stand-up comedian. But I will make a final meal before I leave, Traveler. Don't look, I call the shots here, buddy. I'll talk to the overseer, don't worry. The overseer requested it. A dish made from Mordite root, the death element. Okay, I'm getting a little suspect here, buddy. Go grow this final crop. Hmm? This game needs to let me ask you a few more questions. Trader Fief wishes for me to use the hydroponics page to grow Mordite roots. I'm gonna have to build another room. The overseer asked for one last meal with me before I go. I must ready myself. Yeah, like pick out your coffin suit. Now here's a question I have. I'm gonna try this just for the fun of it. I can always grow, I, I need to see if I can remove one of these plants. 
I don't mind building more of these, but it's... Let me see. If I can build one of these, I'll hold that off till later. What's that? I already have an exocraft specialist. Why are you telling me that's... Oh, I was looking at the wrong thing. I like... Uh, contempt prior to investigation. It's what I've always lived by. I like to get really worked up about stuff that has not actually happened yet. What do I need here? Oxygen. And I just sold the fecium. So you know what? I'm going to go back to my other plan here and do a little experimenting. And see if I can remove... Yeah, I bet you if I just do this... Yep, that's it. I figured it out. I figured it out all by myself. What do you need? More day. Okay. Uh, I might. There is a slim chance I might have some of this in storage. I do wish... <clears throat> no, that's not more day. Got me excited for a second. I do wish that the things in storage that... Uh, yeah. No. Really? Why did I sell, keep selling all the Mordite and keep you? I don't know. Uh, I don't believe it pulls... <clears throat> when you're going to craft something, it doesn't pull from your storage containers. I could be wrong on that, but I don't think it does. These are worth some money, right? I thought I sold all those. Alright, Mordite, it comes from killing animals, right? There's lots of those feline creatures down on the planet. I'm just going to kill some. How's my inventory space looking? Much better. And after we do this, when we finish this farm request, I am going and I am going to pursue the V3 pass. With that, we shall rule the universe. There will be no door that bars us from anything. Alright, give me one second before we embark on this. It literally would take about 30 seconds. I gotta put some more water on. I, I've only... I started this game when I started my first cup of coffee. So... My brain's got about, oh, 15 minutes, half an hour at least before it kicks in. So, let me get that going and uh, help the process along. I'll be back in two shakes. <clears throat> Diamond and the rain of gold. Still need to remain untold. Alright, 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 alright. I'm back. I'll just keep one ear open here for the brewing, uh, the water. Uh, you know. I find myself interesting. I'm going to just be upfront about that. I really, really love coffee. I think I have a discerning palate when it comes to coffee. But my regular daily routine, I drink the cheapest instant coffee I can find at my little bodega up on the corner. And I love it. I'm going to call my palate wide. I have a wide palate. All right. Uh, it's nighttime, which is always interesting. Let's see what I have the gun on. Yep, it's on bolt cast. You're good. Wait, when you say low ammo, that's just because I need to reload, right? Yeah. Oh, good lord. I gotta tell you, it, this has not been a problem for a while, and I forgot about it. I need to get some blackout curtains. Uh, I don't have a lot of room in my apartment, so I got my little setup up here in the corner. And uh, the weird feng shui-ness of it is that all the electricity is on this side of the room. I could probably maybe get some extensions, but it would really be complicated to rewire everything so that I could set this up in this other room. The unfortunate thing is, uh, the windows are on the opposite side of the room. And I have yet to take the time to figure out a way to black out. Well, it would be fairly easy. I just have not... I mean, there's so many things. You gotta figure out OBS. You gotta figure out YouTube. You gotta figure out all these things as you go. The whole time in the background, there's been the light from the window casting a glare on my screen. It's not awful, but it is noticeable. And this morning, it is a bright, clear, gorgeous day out there. And I can tell. 
Scooter is having a tough time seeing things. I'm blaming it on Scooter. All right. Uh, where, where are you? Nasty feline critters. I hope I can figure out. You don't see any little red dots. Well, they wouldn't be red dots, would they? So not going to identify that for me? Okay. Oh, I just, I'm okay. Learning things, I go, yeah, I can use this just to at least look for the paw prints. Except I don't think it distinguishes when you're using it that way. Okay. No, he's a nice guy. I need to figure that out. If um, the baddies have a different type of icon, because that would be really helpful. And I just realized something else. My water's about to brew. And I'm going to have to step over there and get it. I'm going to try and... It's it's only going to be a quick hot second, but that's famous last words. I hear it right now. All right, I'm going to keep my headphones on in case something nasty happens, but i got to pour my coffee. Don't let me get killed. I don't hear any bad news going on. I think I'm going to live. All right, all right, all right. Good job, Scooter. Way to hunker down. I don't think anything saw you. All right, now we are totally set. And we are built for survival because we have caffeine. All right. Um, let me just look at something I need to adjust, but I'm not going to take the time right now. I have feline cats. I do want to do this little experiment to see. Now those, the flora. See, the dangerous flora gets that little icon above it. But I need to see. I know those cat guys, they will attack on sight. And to be honest, they don't really strike me as cat-like creatures. But I'll let the game have its prerogative. It's pejorative. Is that right? No, pejorative. There, see, now right there is one. Okay, see, it doesn't do it. I wish it would. Oh, now that guy, see, it gets the red paw. And I really, really, really... Uh, no. I was, I was going to pin whatever it is I need to keep track of. Oh, you know what I just realized? Is that my guy following me, or is that one of the... Uh... What? What the heck was that? What is that noise? Was that my uh, little drone guy? Oh, good lord. Did not see that coming. I'm killing you just on general principle. Oh, come on. Did you see how far it was? Look at, boy, could I sound more whiny? I don't think so. You know, it's really uh, kind of different when you can hear yourself in your own ears and you're like, oh, that's unpleasant. You don't, you sound very whiny. Alright, let me, uh, oh. Oh, good lord, there's a castle of them down here. Oh, these are not the things I wanted to kill. That's all right. I mean, I... What? Are those animals that are making that noise? Sounds like it. All right, I'm going to juke my... Um... There we go. Okay, okay. You're my guy. I see the other guy over there. Where am I at on Mordite? Where, what much do I have? That doesn't look enough. I think I need at least 50. Maybe 100. Hold on. Okay. I'm going to... Here's what I'll... Oh, no. Uh, I'd have to open up the catalog to see Mordite. I get... I they, You hit the Z and it will show you what you can build wherever you're at. That kind of makes sense. But... It's a lot more elaborate to have to go into that catalog. Sorry, buddy. Chunky meat. Mm -mm. We are going to have good eats tonight. All right. Uh, I don't see any drones around. I'm sorry, big guy, but... Let me see here now. I think it does. Proportionally, it gives you more if the animal's bigger. I really didn't want to do that. They look harmless. I think they are harmless. But the game is giving me directions, and I'm going to... It didn't tell me to kill you. I'm not going to lie. 
but I'm in a I'm not in a hurry. What am I talking about? I have no excuses. I just in my mind I was gonna make a bunch of excuses and just realized I have no excuses. I killed you because it was convenient. Great. Oh, did it? That, oh, they didn't. Oh, good lord! They didn't even give me uh, a warning shot. They just said we're coming after you. Good lord! Let's run, run, scooter. Run, run, run! I think we can get away. Yeah, they're searching. They really are not that hard to get away from. Which I both like and dislike at the same time. Alright, how much more died? Nine? What are we looking at here? Lots of chunky meat. Uh, more died. 94. I think that's enough, but I, 100 would definitely be enough. So let's get 100. Be interesting. I wonder if someday they're going to... Uh, well, it wouldn't make sense. I was going to say, I wonder if they're going to add a penalty for killing the more docile creatures. I doubt it, but some games do do that. I said doo-doo. I'm wasting a lot of bullets for nothing on you. Good lord, that mining beam is far more effective than this thing. I'm gonna switch over next time. Alright, uh, let's, let's head, I could, you know what? I was gonna say let's head back to the base, which I will do. But, alright, there I see a flying crab. I can't remember what these things are actually called, but I'm going to call it that. Let's learn a word. Let's stop by our word today. There we go. I have really not spent any time building up this guy's vocabulary. The scooter, I'm so sorry. All right, that should be enough. Let's call in the old ship. Why don't you land? There we go. That's a good surface for you gonna take a drink of coffee and then I realize the way this morning is going I should wait until I get inside me ship there we go now I'm gonna have a sip of coffee that's good boy these are my, my kind of days I don't have anything to do. I got a busy, busy week coming up, but I got nothing to do today, so. Let's just fly back up. Uh, note to self, when we're done doing this, I gotta go back and check on the settlement. Because I think those guys should be ready then. And then, well, I guess we got one more farmer mission. I'm gonna clean that up, and then we'll move on to uh, the Atlas Pass. But that... You know, because I've been doing different types of quests, when I'm grinding, those passes come in big help because they got the V2s you use in uh, the observatories and in other various areas, and the V1s you use all the time uh, at the little, uh, what do you call those things? Cargo stashes? They got a name, cargo drops? Something. There's always some stuff there in the Atlas passes. So, uh, as far as I know, Atlas 3 is the last in the series of passes, so after that we will have... Hello, Gasho to you. Namaste. The Overseer asked for one last... Okay, oh, I just gotta go plant this, I forgot. The nature of Mordite is commonly misunderstood. Oh, this is new. The material is not part of the dead creatures from which it is recovered. No, it is the husk of a parasite that lived within them. That lives within most creatures in this universe. Wait a minute, has this got to do with the Force? With the right care, with the proper rituals, this parasite can live in the soil. I was about to say soul. It's not quite that deep. All that it requires is respect. Okay. With great respect, I plant you. Where are you? Yep. Uh, now, you know what? I might have enough. Let me take a look and see how long this thing is going to take. Seven hours. All right. Uh, I might have enough to just give you anyway. I'm not even sure if I need to plant that. That's all right. Yep, here you go. Done and done. Let me see it. There, I just showed it to you. 
You have mastered so much of the botanical art, my friend. To see that others understand its virtues, well, it gives me hope. It is a pity you can digest so little of your own produce. But creating life is its own reward, is it not? Well said, my friend. The farmer has no more tasks for me. Oh, good. We're done with that. They tell me that their contract is at an end and that they will be returning. No, no, stay, stay, limestone head. Or is it sandstone I'm thinking of? I don't know. It looks like land limestone to me. As they discuss their leaving plans, they watch the ceiling carefully. It is unclear what they are looking at. Suddenly, Trader grabs me, telling me not to trust the overseer. What? That their fellow Gek may not even be a Gek at all. Shut your face. They seem to suggest that their food was somehow drugged. What? But this can't be true. I've shared meals with the overseer, and I'm fine. They would never do anything to harm any of us. The overseer only wants what is best. A moment later, the farmer stops speaking. They assure me they were just joking and beg me not to speak of this matter again. Huh. I'm going to ask if you're all right. I feel like I need to. Ask Trader V if they are all right. They claim that they are. Their eyes glistening in the darkness of the base. It's not that dark in here. Hmm. Well, it says I'm supposed to come back to you. I, I'm not feeling like myself, Traveler. Really? I didn't notice. I do not think I should go. Not just yet. Yes, that's right. I will stay. No oh, mysterious. Farmer appears to be refusing to leave, despite a lack of continued payment or directives from the overseer. They spend their days tending my crops, no longer posing any tasks. They claim they have nowhere else to go. Smile at them? Okay. Trader Thief smiles back, happy to be here among their plants. Mm, I'm gonna, just for fun, let's see what he says now. Friend, I am pursuing new hybrid plants. It is such fun. Will you help me birth new life? Hmm, let's go on a few more dates. I require considerable plant samples to graft and to splice more than I can grow. Wait a minute, I thought you were done giving me tasks. Wonderful, traveler friend. Oh, the new plants will discover. I can already see them in my mind. Maybe it's just new missions available, additional floor. No, okay. All right, well, we did the main ones. I think he's just gonna keep sending us out for different things. For lunch orders, things like that. All right, yeah. A dispute. Oh, God, I love the disputes with the settlers. Always so clear-cut and easy to decide. Well, at least we don't have to worry about getting in the middle of a maelstrom of uh, sentinels again. That is, in its own way, a godsend. Hey, Sentinel, buddy. How you doing? I gotta go deal with these fellers. Let me go ahead and save that while I'm here. Alright. Check the settlement. See how we're doing. Still an A-class, which I'm very happy about. Happiness is really skyrocketing, and we are maxed on productivity. Good job, Scooter. Way to crack the whip. Okay. I'm gonna go with the unknown outcome no matter what, because I like purple mm, question marks. Work Geek Ersk asserts Colonist Nundun has stolen their knife. Colonist Nundun, that's not how you say it, I'm sure, insists it is theirs. Uh, temporal memory testing shows the item shows a strong energetic bond with Work Geek Ersk. That's ah, obviously his. Wait, what, what kind of testing? Temporal memory testing? Okay. I wonder if we can do that now. Be really useful. All right, it's yours, buddy. Okay, guys, I'm busy. Very busy. You're you're grown, Gex. You, what? I don't care. I care a little bit. Come on. You dropped two happiness for that? I mean, it said it was his. Well, I guess there's nothing to do about it. If there's uh, stuff going on, there's stuff going on. Um, all right. We are going to move on to... The wonderful task. Before I am done here today, and actually I don't think it will take as much time as I thought. Emerald. God, 
I think I had a ton of emerald in the starship. Um, one thing I need to do, uh, I, in my desire to be expedient and get out of Dodge, I put a lot of stuff in exocrafts, and I don't think the same exocrafts, so now I have to go. The only way I know you can switch inventory space for exocrafts is by getting in them. So I'm going to have to manly go out and jump in these bad boys to switch the inventory selection. Let's see. No, nothing in here. Uh, I think I should make that one. The one I put all the inventory stuff in. I'm pretty sure I don't have anything in here. No. I might have some stuff in this bad boy. I like this guy. I haven't really utilized him a lot yet. No. Good. Well... At least it's centrally located. Uh, what is this? What is this little sunroom area? Hold on, can I build stuff in here? I can. Huh, a very limited amount of stuff, but it's still pretty cool. All right, someday, someday we'll, uh... Whoa, 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 good lord, dude, I forgot. Come over here. Come over here, I want to shut you down. Just stay here. Oh, you know what? Let me do it this way. I'll do it a different way. He's going to follow me, but that's all right. I'm going to get in... Where is that exocraft? Here it is. I know you have a pod here somewhere, don't you? I don't know. Maybe I never built a pod for this guy. All right. Good. He, oh, good. He autom Did he automatically return? No, he just squatted down right there. That's all right. He's good. He's comfy. That looks like a good squatting position. Gather emerald. Select emerald in the catalog. For sp I'm going to go first. I may end up having to go and collect this, which is not the worst thing in the world. We'll have some adventures with Scooter. But I may have some up there. We'll see. Let's go up and check. The only place I think it would be is in storage, because otherwise it would show up over there. Alright, let's go check this out. How's it looking now? Yeah, it's not registering any. I wonder if I can buy it. Excuse me. Excuse me. Coming through. Check if I have any in here. Well, no. You know what? This is what it is. I kept thinking, oh, I've got some of that. And then I realized it was activated emerald. Which is not what it wants. Let me check just to make sure here. But I'm pretty sure that's not going to cut it. Yeah, that's not what it wants. And I don't know how to deactivate the emerald. To, uh... uh well, well, I'm going to have to go to the catalog. And we're going to have to do this the old-fashioned way. Where we just get out in the universe and track things down. Uh, while I'm here in town, let me do a few prefunctory things. Nope, but Lord, you're full. I didn't realize you'd be full. Uh, I'm going to put you in the freighter. <clears throat> Excuse me. Let's go sell some meat. There. You can go. Um, Gacknip. Now keep that on me. There we go. Feline liver is always a popular snack treat. Uh, star bulb. I can get more of those. I can get more of that when I need it. All right. <clears throat> Here we go. We're going to have to pin emerald. See where we can find this stuff. Here we go. In the galaxy map, search for a green solar system. Access the galaxy map. I wonder if I can tell from the teleporter. If it will tell me in the descriptions of ye old planets. No, I can't. I can't see in here. Nope, I'm going to have to do it from space. I think I have enough uh, hyperdrive fuel. I'm almost positive. 
Maybe I won't even. Well. Uh, let me check this here. Green solar system. Galaxy okay, members. Hold on a second. I just thought of something. Let me let me see if we can take the whole fleet over there. Uh, I wonder if I, I don't want to get stuck in some place. Um, I have yet to, as far as I remember, I don't think I've traveled with me starship yet. Okay, what are these? Why are these designated? I don't know what the icons mean. Those are different freighters? Those are my freighter? I don't know. What I am not seeing is green star systems. Hmm. Green stars. This is interesting. I see. Is that? Yeah, that's blue. Our green. I've been to a red system so far. That was fun. Uh, but I am not seeing. Those are yellow stars. <clears throat> Pardon me. Let's get a little perspective. I do not see a single green star. I wonder if this filter I have on here, it shouldn't shouldn't affect it. It's a primary color. It's not too hard to render. And we've got yellow, red, and blue. Where is green? Huh. Okay, let me go back and double check this. In the galaxy map, search for a green solar system. Access the galaxy map while on the starship warping to a green system requires the animal drive. Okay. Uh, maybe I do have to be in the starship. Maybe it just wouldn't show up on that map. I don't know. I don't know, people. I don't know. Well, I think right now... Uh, hold on one second. Uh, I need to check something here uh, I got some emails I have to look at okay no nothing important I mean messages from friends which is important but I gotta stay on top of some business things you know what I mean no I'm pretty sure I can't I have to be in space right it's not gonna let me do this yeah. Right. Whoa, we're getting crowded here. The neighborhood is getting busy. All right, let me see if it shows up uh, in the ship. No. Uh, <clears throat> I really am sorry, guys. It's getting better, my throat, but I apologize for having to clear it so often. But that's okay. That says an emerald drive, and so I'm guessing those. I'm going to take uh, a somewhat educated guess, and the ones that are showing up as white are the. That's yellow. So I'm going to say the white ones are what it is calling. Green. Hmm. Current mission. Current mission, is it, is that, oh, here we go. Well, wait a minute. If I need, uh, wait, no, I, I'm trying to make the, I'm going to have to build an emerald drive, aren't I? Okay. All right, I'm putting it together bit by bit. Let's get out of here. I'll sit here in space. We're not taking any fuel up. I have to do a little bit of investigating. Uh, I need an emerald drive. And I don't have one, right? Where's my warp drive? Where's my warp drive? There's hyperdrive. That's got the cadmium one. Let's see. Do I have emerald drive? Well, good. I got that at least. Okay, I need that. And I need cadmium. I might be able to do this. I know I picked up cadmium for something somewhere for some reason. I think I still have it in the ship. This might not be as difficult as I thought. And then every time I say that, it turns out being very difficult. 
I had somebody in the stream yesterday, and I think they're right. I'm not going to do it right away, but it is fun. But we're going to get uh, Scooter all set up a little bit more. Do a little bit more white hat journeying, and then we're going to go totally rogue, become a pirate, start attacking uh, raiders and such. I don't, it's not my first go-to when I play these games, but it can be fun. All right. Um, I think it said I need a wiring loom. For some reason, these are really easy to find in the space station, but I don't think I've ever seen one in here. No. Pretty sure this is the same stuff every time. Uh, let me see if I have some cadmium. Where is this bad boy? Oh, I do have cadmium. I got 114 in here. God, four wiring looms? That's going to be a million. Because this thing sell about 200 and some thousand. Okay, there's... So it is reading it. Okay. It does read from... Uh, the storage. And I only have 114. Ah. I'm going to need to go and get some more. Let me double check up here and just make sure. No, that makes sense. I went to a planet and I got some, but I didn't get a ton. I got just enough for the mission I was doing. So, all right. Uh, let's see. Cadmium's in a red, in red systems, right? Yeah, that would make sense. I'm pretty sure about it. Cad cadmium. But cadmium is found on planets orbiting red stars. Let me see. I think what I might do is to expedite things and save on fuel and whatnot. Is maybe it'll show me here. Let me see. Current system, previous system. Sometimes it'll a little grayed out area. It'll tell you where the thing you have pinned is, but I do not see that. Okay. Um, I'm going to on the old galaxy map find a red planet. And then, well, boy, that's going to be a needle in a haystack, but I'm going to try it. Where is a red one? Right there. Here's one. Can I get to that? Amplified warp shielding required. I'm positive I don't have that. Let's see. How about over here? Can we get to this one? Nope. I think I'm going to have to use my little ship. Yeah. Amplified warp shielding... What do I need for that? Oh, the game just got complicated again. Right here. I'm going to have to start sal saving up that salvage frigate data. It doesn't come in as often as you wish it would. All right, let's go. Let's see. Take a little look around. Okay. Ah, uh, looks like I can go to this one. That's great. Let's get there, shall we? I hope I have enough warp fuel to get back because. I just want to have enough warp fuel to get back, that's all. <laughs> this is what happens to me. I, uh, oops, 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 oops. I haven't been here yet. Uh, what do you have? What am I looking for? Act See, that's activated cadmium. Okay. Let me get in here and look for the planets in this system. Oh, I should have checked that out. Some of these planets, some of these systems don't have a lot of planets. This one looks like I might just have two. Looks like one of them is on the other side of this big boy. Yep, there it is. Oh, 
Okay. Did I just get boned here? I do not want to have to make another jump. That thing said it had activated cadmium. Let me let me take a look uh, at the old catalog and see what it says under activated cadmium. If it doesn't, here we go. All planets in red systems have large cadmium deposits. Cadmium deposits become activated by extreme weather. So I think go back here and re assign that. Because I think I should be able to just find regular cadmium on this place. We'll see. Let's go check it out. You gotta hit the pulse engine. Boo! Boy, those. I always get a little bit of lurch in my stomach that I like whenever I do one of them fast landings. Alright. Let's take a look around and see what we find. No. Of course, you're always falling. Oh, 3,000. That was some good units. I, I don't know how to find cadmium. Maybe... Oh, I've got it. Current mission not detected. Come on, please, please. Let me see. What are you, silver? Okay, whoops. The a little jumpy here. That's activated carbon. Activated carbon. Okay, I'm I'm at a loss here. How do I just uh, activated cat cadmium is what I meant to say. Yeah. All right, storm's coming. So it's a good time to get inside and do some investigating. Cadmium rich plants. Okay, it's gonna. No, planets. It does say planets. This is the thing I can figure out. If there's activated cadmium, there should just be regular cadmium. They can't be two separate things. Boy, look at the. Hold on, I wanna get out of here. That's pretty cool. I like that. The burning sort of paper effect. It's hot out there. You can tell. All right, uh, let me think about this. I'm going to have to wait for this storm to pass. Let me check my uh, environment warning. Okay. Cadmium rich planets detected. All planets in red systems have large. All planets in red systems have large cadmium deposits. Okay, great. I'm glad you're doing that. Thanks for keeping me apprised of your progress. I need to get back to my business. All right, all right. And thank you. I want to get back to this. Land on a planet with available cadmium. It says all planets in red systems have cadmium. So there's got to be some on this planet somewhere. Let me get out here and see if this storm is still brewing. Because if it is, I can't stay out there. It's going to bake me. Uh, firestorms. Yep, don't want that. Firestorms are bad for little space gerbils. Any book will tell you that. <sighs> Hold on. Somebody's having my Wi Fi, I don't know why. Okay. Visually, I'm guessing I should be able to tell when this storm is over. Because that, that kind of looks like a storm to me. How about you? I think it is. Okay. Let me hop back on and see what it says. No. Nope. Still firestorming. Oh, good lord. Good lord. Uh, yeah, I think it's bad. I think it's bad out there. 
kind of cool though. Uh, I guess I'll know when it's okay when everything around me stops burning. Maybe. You know, maybe uh, to sort of, I guess you might say, kill time? That wasn't burning before, was it? I don't think so. I certainly don't remember it. How long do these firestorms last? These red, these red solar systems, they're, I wonder what the green ones are like, because these red ones are pretty nasty. Alright, I don't know if this is going to stop or not. You know, I'll tell you what I think I might do, except I don't want to run out of launch fuel. Let me see how much launch... Do I have launch fuel on me? Thank God I got uh, some hyperdrive fuel. I see no launch fuel. What are thrusters at? Launch thrusters are 100%. I'm going to hop out one more time here and see. Okay. I think this storm is still brewing. Uh, I'm going to take off here. And what I'm going to do is, because I don't really know, I don't feel like I have enough information at this point to accurately pinpoint it. I'm just going to scan and look for abandoned buildings as something to do. To go investigate, and then when I, after I investigate, I'll look around for cadmium. That sounds like a plan to me. It's a plan Scooter and I can live with. It's kind of hard to, with this terrain to get a gauge on how high I am. Let's go north. Let's keep going north. That'll be our uh, true north. Okay. I wonder if there are any buildings on these planets. I guess it wouldn't be surprising if there weren't. I'm going to go for a minute and see if these uh, burning pellets stop hitting my ship. Do the firestorms ever stop here? Maybe not. I haven't spent a lot of time in these red planets. Actually, I haven't spent a lot of time on many planets. All right. Uh, n normally, in my experience, we would have found a building by now, but it would make it would make sense if there was nothing on these planets. I'm gonna give it uh, two more after that one. We'll see what happens. I have seen no sign of anything. You know what I could try? Let me try my uh, trade scanner. What do I hit for that? Okay, great. Uh, where's my trade scanner? Let me get to that. No. Utilities. There we go. Now, let's see. Nothing is showing up. There's probably nothing on this planet. Nothing habitable. Well, you learn something all the time, don't you? Now, I'm going to have to... Just look around and explore. See if I can find... Let's go ahead and send... I know it's all right. And this out. Oh, good lord. Uh, Drone, really seriously, I wish the game would not program you to fly in front of me when I'm doing this. Not seeing anything. Alright. I think the storms are back. Would the cadmium be in these? I hope I don't die while I'm looking for this. I would like to not die while I'm doing this. Carbon. Okay. Yeah, I can only spend so much time out here. This is a brutal, brutal planet. Let's see if I can get one of these. Or 
Really? You're not close enough? There we go. Okay. Uh, that might be less condensed carbon. Alright. We got a little more time I can spend out here. Let me see if I... S what is this? Okay, activated cadmium. Uh, it was not registering the activated cadmium, cad, uh, cadmium in my inventory. And as far as... You know what? I'm just going to have to experiment. I really have no choice at this point. I kind of have some choice, but not a lot. I'm going to have to mark one of those. I'm going to wait till my shielding goes up. I'm going to mark one of those activated cadmium places. It wouldn't do it in my refinery up on the ship. I put activated car cadmium in there. Maybe if I put it with chromatic metal. I don't know. I mean, I have all that cadmium from some other adventure I did, so I know I've collected it. I just don't know how or when. All right, let's 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 go over to you. I'm getting to know you. I'm getting to know all about you. Oh, 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 good lord, good lord. That's That's closer than I thought it was. 350 uh, units isn't what it used to be. Where I don't want to land. I don't want to land until I know I'm in the right place. Hold on. Gosh darn it. It didn't disappear because I flew over it, did it? I hope no. There it is. Good. This is close enough. Uh, I'm going to mine some of this. Come on. Come on. What do you mean I can't land? I don't accept your assessment. On that landing area, not clear. Okay, we'll find a clear space. All right. Oh, I'm getting nauseous from that stuff. What's going on here? Why is this? I'm sorry. I'm being. I'm being. I'm being whiny again. Sorry. I heard it. I just don't understand why it won't let my ship land. Landing area not clear. Come on, you've never done it. Is it because it's on an angle? There we go. I don't think I've ever had that much problem for that long trying to land. I don't think. Alright, let me let me check some things out here. No. I don't see anything in here. Let's get up here. Let me see if I can. I would like to not raise the ire of the sentinels if I can so I'm going to try and get underground here really? I hadn't noticed, thank you I'm going to get as much, all of this as I can before I got to jump back in the ship there so that little scooter doesn't turn into a scooter McNugget Figures. They're just figures. I think I'm... Uh, I could build myself a little cave and protect myself, but I'm just going to get out of here and get back to the ship. Is that everything? There's one little piece. That looks like everything. All right, let's get out of here. Where is my ship? There we go. Aha, uh -huh, you didn't see me. I'm going to get in here and get the shields up, and then I'm going to hop out. I think I better... Oh. oh, I thought I saw my life support pretty low. Uh, let's see. Oh, are you kidding me? Are you kidding me? Oh, that's my spaceship. Again, panicking for no reason is fun. Let's put this down here. Get my refinery out. And uh, I'm going to see if there's anything I can do with this... Where is it? Condensed carbon and activated cadmium. Again, that's the spaceship. Okay. Okay. I see what's going on here, game. You're having sport with me. Let's put this down. 
Why is it not? There we go. Wait, I am really, I tell you, I don't feel crabby. But man, no, no, no chromatic metal. That's not what I want. I want, and this time I'm not going to apologize for being uh, crabby. I don't, I don't know. I don't know what to do to get just regular cadmium. This is not very helpful. Usually this thing is really helpful, um, but this is not very helpful right now. Cadmium rich planets detected. Launch into space to scan planets for minerals. No, you've done this to me before. When I'm on a planet that actually has the element I want. I'm not going to let you do it again. Okay, maybe I'm wrong. Let's go into space. Let's go into space. I'm being really... Reprius. A word I like. Petulant. No, we're out of there. Okay. Launch thrusters on to 41. Come on, rechargers. All right. All planets. All planets in red systems have cadmium. Oh, wait a minute. Hold on. Really? It was that there before and I didn't see it? Or let me see it. Okay, it looks like the same planetary system. Maybe there's a planet on the other side I saw. It. Okay, okay, I'm dumb. Oh, good lord. I don't blame anybody if they watch this stream and go, hmm, this guy's too dumb to watch. What I'm going for is the crowd of people that enjoy watching dumb people play games. I know they're out there. My people. Sometimes it is entertaining. I'm going to say oftentimes it's entertaining, but it's got to be the right thing for you. All right, let's see if we can land here. All right, well, let's see. Let's see. Let's see. Let's see. This is like many things in this game. It may take a long time to figure out the simplest thing, but then once you know it, you know it. Let's see. Okay, I've got... Locate... Good lord. Didn't look this bad in the other planet. This is bad. There it is. Right there. Alright. Alright. I still... I don't know. Maybe there's a way to do it and I haven't figured it out yet. But there should be a way to break down activated cadmium. Is this going to do it? Good. But I think that's it. I think I'm going to need to make some launch fuel. I should have just run over here. That was worthless. Are you going to attack me thing? All right, this better be enough cadmium. Well, it's already telling me there's not enough fuel. Uh, we'll see if I have any. I didn't see any, but there might have been some hidden someplace. All right, let me get down here really quick. There we go. I think I may have secured myself a location down here. And let's go down a little deeper and get get him hidden a little bit better. Boy, there's nobody out here today. Some days, you know, it's interesting. I'm just yammering here. Doesn't matter, nobody's here, so I can yammer all I want. But, uh, I don't think I'll ever. It's, a, you watch, I watch so many YouTube videos, right, trying to figure stuff out, and it's kind of a solace, and it's kind of irritating, but it is what it is. Everybody's got opinions about what you should do, as far as, you know, YouTube channels, not just streaming, but analytics in general, how to read things, how to analyze it, what to do about it. And I'm not saying it's not true. But uh, I don't think it, I'm, nobody really knows. It's all a mystery. I, I think the bottom line is it's just, it's as common sense as anything else. You either hit a gold miner, you got something that's so fat. Oh, is that a cave down there? I think it is. Like Mr. Beast, I, I got really fascinated with him because he's been, I think, one of the most successful YouTubers in history. Uh, I like watching his videos, but it's not the kind of thing that I would 
I, I it wouldn't sustain me as far as I like the things he pulls off. I like the psychology behind it. It's, it's good stuff. But he found a niche. But the thing is, he talked. I've seen him several times. Young guy, obviously. Uh, really dedicated and passionate and motivated to do well at this stuff. But it's kind of common sense. I mean, for all the trying to figure out tricks and everything, you make the best videos you can. You don't think about the analytics. You think about your audience, which I thought was a brilliant thing he said. And every time you hear analytics, read it as audience, because it makes sense. But what I was going to say is, I mean, the reason made me think about this is, uh, I was on here yesterday a couple of times, and they were all kind, I mean, I was averaging like five or six viewers. And I was doing the same moronic stuff that I'm doing now. It ain't different. Let me see how much cadmium I have before I keep on yakking. That should be enough. Well, I can find out really easy, can I? Because I just go over here. There we go. Uh, how about this? Yeah, well, that's that's that. So, I am going to go to... I'm not going to be able to take off, am I? Nope. I knew it. Let me get this ready to go, and then I'll... Hmm. Oh, come on. I had a, I had a bunch of uranium back on the... I thought I had a bunch of uranium on me. All right, how, how far down are my thrusters? I have to get inside here to see, I think. Or no, here. 20%. I'm not even really sure how much I need to launch. Um, if it's easy, I will make some launcher fuel. If not, dihydrogen and metal plating. Let's check on metal plating. I don't even have enough for that. Ferrite dust. Could make some of that. Hmm. Hmm. This is already up to 22. This is going to be up high enough in a second. I'm just going to yak until that happens. But, um, going back to my little story that I was telling. Uh, when I look at, it's really fascinating. I think one of the things that drags me into this, um, I enjoy doing it for one thing, first and foremost. But, I like a puzzle. I like puzzle games. I like, I like, the, I like this, this right here, where it's, uh, it's not super complicated, but you got to go through a number of steps and figure things out to solve problems. It's just something I enjoy. So YouTube to me is kind of like that because they, when I first got into it, I knew nothing about it, obviously. Well, maybe not so obviously, but I did. I knew nothing about it. Set up a YouTube channel. It took me forever just to figure out how to work out the mechanics and the techniques. But then once I got into it and I started looking at the analytics, I was like, wow, this is, they can tell you a lot about who's watching well not who they don't give them that kind of detailed demographic information so you guys probably know that but i don't remember to go what what do you know about me i mean you get gender and age but that that's all dependent on what people say i mean people can lie about that stuff if they want to but you get that you get the time of day you get all this how long they watch it's amazing click-through rate, all the different statistics. And I started finding it to be a fascinating puzzle that I wanted to get better at. Mostly, I mean, I looked at what it takes to actually make any kind of real money on YouTube. You got to get a lot of views and a lot of watch time. If that ever happens, I'll be like, hallelujah, that's amazing. But I can't make this my full-time job. So it's just for fun and to figure out this algorithm. All of that is to say that Saturday, uh, in my little chart that shows when my viewers are on, people that have watched my viewers over however many views I've had over the last however many days, I don't know how it calculates it, but you get a little weekly chart with different shaded areas. And Saturdays are one of the, well, it's a great day as far as number of people on, but Sunday was just chock full of people, viewers. And uh, I get people drop in, then they, they leave because they're doing something else or they don't like your stream or your video or whatever, that happens. But so far today, I've got eight views on here. Yesterday, I think 
at this point. I had like 15 or 20 views. This is apropos of nothing. I just realized I'm rambling, which I don't care about because I'm just waiting for my ship to take off. But, no, there is no real point to it. I, I guess the point is, this is my mind uh, rationalizing why I still have fun doing this, even though it makes no sense. Now, I've got a few regular viewers. Uh, Del Dinky and uh, content comes around. I'm the old school boys, Guardian and... Uh, Depto. So it's kind of fun. I've had enough to keep me going. I think I'm at just the right pace. If I woke up tomorrow, and I don't foresee this happening, but somehow something triggered something, caught fire, happened to accidentally hit on a trend that's going on, whatever, and I had, you know, over a thousand subscribers already and tons of hours, like something just, what is this guy doing? Yeah, just walk on by, stripey leg. But if that happened, I don't think it would be good. I don't think it'd be good for me. I used to work with um, high school kids and, and some college kids too, working on projects, uh, entrance exams, things like that. And uh, I saw it over and over again. It's a rare personality who can take a ton of success right off the bat. What, you know, what happens a lot of times is people many people get it in their minds they hope that things go great but they get it in their mind that they're gonna hit it big right away and there's several different kinds of personalities there's the ones that what normally happens is that that's a very rare phenomenon even if somebody's really good at something all the things have to line up for things to go perfectly right off the bat the majority of people that hit it right off the bat end up falling apart at some point because even if they have a lot of confidence and whatever it's hard to sustain that for a period of time and then when the hard times hit they're just not ready for it and they've got all that juice and adrenaline and high spirits from their initial success and it gets hard you got the ones that what normally happens is it turns out to be a grind from the beginning they don't have a lot of great successes and you get a large percentage of just drop off. They're like, ah, I'm not going to do this. But the ones long term, and I've seen this so many times, that end up making it and becoming long term successful are the ones that have the really slow upward climb with, with pitfalls along the way. That's just the personality type that, in my experience, watching people. Let's see if I got enough. Good. We can get off this godforsaken planet and people can stop listening to me yak. But I truly believe, I, I know in my own personal life that's been true. And I think it's why I like grinding games. I, I think it's why I like games. There's nothing at risk here. And I think about this when I'm playing. I enjoy the games, I really do. But I like what it does to my personality. Ah, gosh. Oh, this is a bounty. I'll take that. Okay, here we go. I want you. Oh, good lord. I, what, what are you doing flying by him like that? Where is he? Good, good. Come to me. Where are you? I thought you were coming to me. Okay. You're running away from me. Where'd he go? Where is he? Where is he? Where is he? What happened? What happened to him? Wait, what is that? Did I just... Was that a ship? No, it's a description of that. Huh. I thought I was targeted on him. Uh, apparently, I was wrong. Uh, in these Red Star systems, at least it's been my experience, I do not think there is... There are any space stations. So we're going to have to jump to one that does have it. I think I'll just go back home. Anyway, that was my little rant. Uh why I like playing these games. Um, I like a game that has a grind to it. It does not... You have to work for that serotonin release. You gotta grind things out and... I, uh, there's a real psychology to it. I mean, obviously people go to school for this stuff now and the story and the economies and how much you have to work to get to something. I think I think Hello Games might... At first, I'm, brand, I'm pretty new to this game. Let me get out here and... Uh, Go to the galaxy map. Get us on our way. Everybody's like, hallelujah, that guy. You know, he's nice, but why do we keep inviting him to these parties? Uh, this kind of scares people. Is this... 
That says visited. Would it say my home world? You know, they have all these freighter icons, which confuses me. Which one is mine? Well, I see the star here. It's got to be this one because all, yeah, it's got to be this one. Right? Let's check down here. I don't remember. Oh, yeah, it's got the base symbol there, too. This has got to be it. Let's go. It's not the end of the world if I messed it up. But I think that's why uh, there's a lot of people who play these games, and I understand it. Uh, they're very much in the achievement part of the game. How much, you know, how many, you know, what, what's that, what's that, uh, that statistic that used to drive everybody crazy in GTA because it made no sense because it had nothing to do with the game design. Uh, KDR, kill to death ratio. That was the dumbest stat ever. And the thing is, that's my opinion. Some people, they just lived and died by it. That was their badge of honor, what their KDR level was. It's like, that, that does nothing because most of the game is supposed to be doing the things they put in the game, running the little businesses, doing other things, and you're just the flotsam and jetsam that's making it a pain. I mean, most people are busy doing other things in a very elaborate game, and it's not that hard to come in and pick them off. At least that was my experience. And I, I you know, I was not... I was not miraculous that game, but I, I owned all the businesses and I had a good time and had lots of uh, money. People are always coming in there in the chat and begging for money. And I'm like, you know, you could go and just get some. You spent a little bit of time building up the stuff they have in the game, but I get it. People wanted to just come in and play the game and not have to work for it. Um, but my point of that is, at first when I heard that Hello Games... Um, I could have just gone down to the planet, couldn't I? No, I guess... Yeah, I could have. Uh... Oh, wait, 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 wait. I'm, I'm yakking and I'm losing my train of thought, but not enough to get totally distracted. I need four... Four... Oh, hold on a second. Hold on a second. Oh my god, I'm an idiot. Oh no, I'm not an idiot. Forgive me, I'm not in it. I thought I hadn't gotten enough cadmium, but I'd already, pu I'd already put it in there. I was like, oh, are you telling me I have to go back there? All right, what do I need? Wiring looms, you're going to cost me... Yeah, look at that. That's going to be a million units, but I got 15, so... That'll be fine. Here we go. All right. So, that is that part of the puzzle and now once again I have to remind myself what I was doing in the first place we're going to get the V3 pass right right am I right or am I right let me check something real quick because I'm close to home here where do I check it uh, log over here I want to see what the settlers are up to okay stranger in 41 minutes stranger danger um I want the V3 pass. Let me get in here. I'm sorry, guys. I, and nobody's going to be listening at this point anyway after that little diatribe I went through. But I'm going to shut it down. Sometimes I do. I like to just... I, I do kind of in my mind this becomes a podcast sometimes. And I know that most people, the vast majority of people are going to tune into this. To just watch whatever game you're playing. But you know what? That's me. This is the way I am. It's kind of like that old show Car Talk. I don't know if any of you guys remember it or liked it, but it was these two guys from uh, Boston, the Baston area. And uh, I was on public radio. They would... Well, let me get into this, and then we'll figure it out. What am I doing? I, I want... I want Emerald. Oh, that's right. Here, let me go in here and check. I'm going to... Let's pin this. So now I have to gather emerald. Oh, wait a minute. Please. Uh, why? I know. I'm sure I already checked. Did I have a bunch of emerald that I sold? Because. Hold on a second, guys. Yeah, you probably can't hear it. As a matter of fact, I'm sure you can't. But my radiator just kicked in. And I can hear it loud and clear because my sound is coming raw from the mic. And for technical reasons that I don't know if it's worth going into. 
Um, if you use the monitoring through OBS, you get a slight delay, which makes you feel like you're having a stroke. I'm not joking. It's impossible to adjust for. At least, I don't know anybody that can do it. All right, you're not going to sell me any emerald. I wonder if there's some place I can buy any. And it does seem like if there is any in here, I'll double check. It would show it. Anyway, these guys, these car talk guys, I, can, I think I can look and talk at the same time. Um, that's activated emerald. Okay, you got to do that to me, huh? All right. I think we have to do the same things with the cadmium. That's okay. And I needed the cadmium so I could build the drive to go to the green system. All right. Um, but these two guys, I wish I could remember their name. They were funny. They were funny guys, real Boston guys. But my point is, I didn't. I don't care about cars at all. Uh, many, many people don't care about cars. But their show was wildly popular just because of their approach to the whole thing, which you find in. Uh, many areas, many entertainment venues. People don't care about the actual subject. They're just, they just want to hear the person. Uh, they like talking about it. Oh, that looks beautiful. I don't, how much are you? 16? I've seen this in here before, and this is the one I've been waiting for, the A level. I'm sure there's some S's out there, but I wouldn't mind buying this thing. I'm pretty sure I don't have enough, do I? Nope. Had to buy them wire, whatever, wire looms. What I was saying is, without trying to make a direct comparison, is that's kind of the way I think about the show. People are going to like me. They're not going to like me. That's entirely up to them. But uh, when I first started doing this, I was, I don't know, I watched a lot of YouTube, and it does make sense. You look at what's successful, and you, you either try and, well, not copy it, but adapt it to your, to your style or whatever. It was just a lot of stuff I saw. I'm like, hmm, that's... I mean, I tried it. I tried to do it, and it just exhausted me. So then I finally decided, I'm just going to have to be me, and if anybody wants to come around and check it out, chit-chat, enjoy, that'll be great. But I don't have the patience or the resilience to not really be something close to myself. Anyway, what am I doing here? But it's also been fun getting to that, you know... You know, I wouldn't say you really get to know people. I mean, all you have are, is text on a screen. But it's nice. It's nice when people join and just communicate in any fashion. I know it's kind of dicey out there because you don't know. You don't know who's typing stuff. You've got to take some precautions. But over time, somebody shows up and you realize that it's, I don't know, on the up and up. I don't know how you would say it. High right. Mm, sure. I think pyrite's a little too valuable for that, but what do I want to do here? Where is a galaxy map? And I need a green star. Oh, no, this is the same problem, isn't it? No, I, maybe it's not, because I couldn't go to the green stars. Let me see if it'll tell me here. Okay. Oh, do I have a base over here? What is this? Oh, it's a yellow star. Oh, why did I put? A, why did I put a base there? I don't understand. All right. Um, let me. What do I want to do here? I want to go to this, and I want to. We got that in Atlas Pass. I need the emerald. Emerald is mined from large deposits using the terrain manipulator. Find emerald deposits with the analyzed for emerald deposits are found on planets, <clears throat> excuse me, orbiting green stars, which apparently, all right, you know what? I like doing this anyway, and it's about time. I'm going to change the filter on this. Here we go. Um, sure, let's go. Uh, yeah, let's go with the default. Um, see if that helps. I need. Yep. See, that looks very different. But I still. Okay. I think I see one up here. Yeah. Is that green or yellow? That's green. 
not really easy to tell. I'm going to have to try and find some more to make sure I can tell the difference. Okay, yeah, that's green, that's yellow. Not really that different. I guess the corona around it is what gives it away. Right? Uh, here, that looks close. And you look green. So let's try it. There we go. Thing is, uh, when there are people there, I don't wax on like this, but when I got nobody else to talk to, I just talk to myself. And it is fascinating. Fascinating, I tell you. The stuff that goes through my head. Uh, activated Emerald. No. You are not what I want. I will not accept you. Ooh, this is a pretty planet that I have not yet discovered. Emerald, there we go. This is pretty. Deathly, wait, excuse me, Deathly Green Anomaly. Uh, not an inviting vacation spot brochure thing, I don't think. Where are the people today? I think this is one of the most sparse days I've had. I would take it personally, but I've been having people showing up earlier. I thought this would be a good time. It's not. Note to self. Put that in the catalog. Sunday afternoons, at least this Sunday afternoon, not the hot hookup. Okay. Oh, this place looks awful. Is this just because it's nighttime here or what? Look at, look at the inside of my ship. Is that... I don't know if that's the filter. Alright, I gotta do a different filter than this. Let's get off the default filter. Uh, and pick something. Here. I don't know if that made it any better. Like, probably not. What is going on on... Oh, it's friendly. Good. Found something friendly. Uh, let's see. Let me see. How's my new discovery recorded? Creature species one of two. What? Why is it doing that? Huh. One of two. I don't know what that was about. You look interesting. What are you? Exaberry. You guys are pretty funky. I like you. I don't see any deposits, though. Let's see. I have this on Emerald, I think. Um, I can't tell if this is this planet that is causing this effect. I'm going to have to wait till I get out of here. I'm going to leave it on this for a minute. Oh, what's this over here? Emerald. There we go. How far are you? 643? That's a bit of a, it's a hike. I can find something a little closer. Yeah, that's 160. That's much closer. Oops. You're confusing me, game. 159. Alright. I think I can do this without launching as dark as it is. Do I have my flash? I'm going to be really curious. I'm going to wait until... I get up top side and get back home. But this is... It said Deathly Anomaly Planet. I don't know what any of that means, but it sure don't sound good, does it? Not to me, it don't. Let's get down in here, see if we can avoid... Uh, I don't know if this color scheme is caused by that effect of this planet being something weird. An anomaly, if you will. But this is messy. I could always go back to my other filter to see how it looks. In fact, let's do that. Just for comparison's sake. Uh, what was that? Tritopia, I think? This one. Nope. It's, uh, it's a messed up planet. It's a hard knock life. And this planet is just weird. Oh, uh, apparently I have enough of this, but while I'm here, I'm just going to keep collecting it. 
Because we may never pass this way again. Uh, I have chromatic metal back in this ship, but... I might just see if I can do it here. What else do I need to make chromatic metal? Can't remember. Uh, copper. Copper is what I need. I haven't been making it in so long. I, I have the ship in that yellow orbit collecting lots of it, so I haven't had to really worry. Good lord, this is uh, some emerald. I'm getting me some good emerald here. I kind of want to get off this planet. It's, it's freaking me out a little bit. This is... You know, sometime, I guess if you play long enough and you do everything you want to do, it'd be kind of a fun challenge to see you make a, something on this world just for the freaky aspect of it, I guess. But uh, this ain't even a nice place to visit. All right, is that everything? It looks like it. Yeah. Let's get back to the old ship. Fortunately, environmentally, it doesn't look like there's anything too hazardous here. I don't need any shielding, which is nice. Oops. Oh, you're mechanical. Huh. Oh, I have... I do remember watching some videos with some people that had mechanical beasties, and now I think I know where they came from. All right, give me one second. got to take, like, a 45 one-minute break here, something like that. 45 second, one minute. I'll be back. Uh, please don't let anything kill me. I appreciate that. Pass this way there. He said to no one. <clears throat> all right, guys, I'm back. No, nobody out there. That's all right. It is, it is a bit, I really don't have, I mean, I don't know. I think somebody, I'm sorry, my mouth was way too close to that. I don't have my headphones on, but I do know my mouth was too close. Um, I do know... Cut to the chase. Hold on. I have something that I might need to look at here. No. No. Sorry, I had to read something there. I'm waiting for my coffee to brew here, too. Uh, but when I... Really early on, somebody I um, enjoyed playing uh, Red Dead Redemption with, among other games, was telling me, giving me some advice. They had been doing Twitch for a while. Had a small channel, but did it mostly for fun. And they told me, yeah, when you're on, you should never really talk of meta, like how many viewers you had on at the time or anything like that. And I tried it for a while, and it just didn't feel like me. I'm not real good at ignoring the obvious. So when there's nobody out here, I tend to uh, get sucked up into my own mind like Ziggy Stardust. And whatever synapses trail I go down is what I go down. But I really, truly don't think I'll ever... Here's what I predict happening. I'm, what, an hour hour and 49 minutes in. I'm going to keep going. I'm going to put in my three hours. Just like work. 
Uh, not that it's really work. I've done some real jobs. And this ain't one of them. Uh, this is just recording fun times. I played a lot of video games, PC games, whatever, over the years slash decades. And, uh, enjoy it. Obviously, I wouldn't do it for that much time. It is a different experience when you're doing it like this. I'm kind of, I'm kind of finding a melding psychologically speaking with the experience and that's probably why I'm doing this right now there is something for me anyway really uh, enjoyable almost meditative I think the most recent game I really got sucked up into I'd have to think maybe wrong about this I, but Death Stranding was, was great but it wasn't a, it was kind of a little bit of a grindy game but I didn't for me it wasn't very radiant it wasn't repeatable but I really enjoyed going through it once but I didn't feel a strong desire to go back to it again. And uh, before that, the reason I got Death Stranding was uh, Hideo Kojimi. Is that how you say his name? I think he's a brilliant game designer. I'm looking forward to whatever he comes up with next. But I played uh, Metal Gear Solid 5. I was going to say Full Metal Jacket. Metal Gear Solid 5. And I really got sucked into that game. Give me one second. Yeah, 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 yeah. I'm really starting to realize this is kind of like a podcast. I don't know if it's a good one, but uh, I'm going to keep it like this, actually, because I like it. Um, let me get back up here do some perfunctory stuff. But um, by perfunctory, I mean get back home. I'm looking around here at my HUD to see if there are any starships. I think that's... Is it... I'll find out as we go on, but I'm starting to realize once again how little... With the hours I've had in this game, how much I still have yet to discover. But I'm figuring it out. I could just go out and find the answers, I know, but I like discovering things. I think the only systems, at least so far that I've seen, that have space stations are the <clears throat> Yellow Sun. <clears throat> Excuse me, let me get a drink of water here. There we go. Um... I have yet, I've been to what, the red system, the green system, something else too, maybe. Uh, do I have copper on me? Gosh, I do. Well, it doesn't matter. Or does it? What else do I need? Let, before I leave this system, let me take a quick perusal at what I do in fact need for... I'm doing this all wrong. What do I need for the um, Atlas Three? I don't want to leave. Oh, wait a minute! Not your faces. What? What did I have that set on that was telling me to make chromatic metal? Hold on. Something weird was going on there. I have an Atlas Three pass. Wait, that was anticlimactic. Let me put that in my exosuits. I did all that work and I was yakking so much. By the time I got there... Here, I'm going to put all these down here for now. Atlas 1 will go there. Atlas 2. No, that's 3. There we go. Keep those down there. Out of the way. Oh, man. That's nice. All right. That was not that hard to get. I mean, it took a little effort. Uh, I, I'm just very curious at this point as to why... It was telling me to make chromatic metal. What what was I on that it was telling me to do that? I don't know. Doesn't matter. Uh, let's see what the settlers are doing. I got to get back over there. I got twenty minutes. Okay. Um, let's just go ahead and jump to another mission. I could go back and start this stuff. That might not be the worst thing to do. I do not want to build up my base at this point. Uh, he's just going to send me. I'm pretty sure he's like the exosuit guy. The farmer seeks a fresh sample from a particular plant. Collect samples from farmed crops in your planetary base or freighter, or collect samples directly in the wild. Oh, I can I can just take samples of what I'm growing? Okay, we'll probably do that. 
Complete Nexus missions. Uh, hmm. Detected travelers to assist. Okay, well, I could do this now. Go and find some multiple players to... I have not done that. You know, actually... Oh, God. Oh, God. I'm so dumb. I just realized I think I can call the anomaly in from here, which has a teleporter. So I don't have to warp back. Oh, God. Okay. Well... Let's, uh, it looks like the only other thing we have here, I want to do these secondary missions until they just become radiant. Uh, like that, you know, that's going to be an ever go evergreen thing. This I don't care about at the moment, uh, since I'm using the settlement and my, my freighter as a base. It's not, this is going to be radiant, I believe, repeatable. Um... Let me see. Does it only have one? Planets discovered. One of two. I'm not going to worry about that. Alright, guys. I'm going to do something, even though nobody is here to watch it. No, you know what? I'm going to wait until more people are here, because that'll be interesting. This is not going to be interesting with two people. Hold on. Well, the two people being me. Um... If some more people show up, I will go and start this. But for now, let's go back to this. Prove your place in the universe to the Corvex. The Corvex Cartographer was cautious, unwilling to trust in the arrival of a travel entity. Prove your... Oh, is this... All right. You know what? This is actually perfect. Um, because it's going to be laborious and somewhat tedious. I was going to do it. On my own time, but I just now realized these times when no one is here is the perfect time to go and do the stuff that is going to... I mean, I'm recording it. If somebody goes back and watches it later, awesome. It'll be on file, if you will. I was really hoping to pick up a couple more subs today. But that's fine. I can't really tell... Uh, I could find a way to judge it so that I could see that live, but it's not that important. It goes, it goes. Uh, what am I doing here? Oh, I'm going to, um, teleporter. That's what I'm doing. I'm not sure if I've done this yet called in the anomaly to get out of like a, a green or a red star system. I think it should work just fine. Search for a water system. Actually, it can be any place. Let's see if it lists anything. The farmer. Wait a minute. Why are you putting the farmer at my haunt? That's the old base. He's up on my freighter. I don't know. That doesn't make any sense. Uh, that looks like the little, uh, what is that? Is that a pentagon? One, two, three. Yeah, the pentagon up here. No, that's not a pentagon. Two, four, six. A sextagon, I guess. Sextagonon. That little symbol seems to say to me there are water planets in all those systems. And if that is true, except that doesn't make sense to me. Hold on, hold on. Retrieve non-existent data from an anomalous structure. Search for a water system in the galaxy map. Let me look at this one more time. All right, it's saying to look for it in the galaxy map. So I'm gonna try and follow the rules here. Maybe I can find it here in this system. Maybe I can't. I don't know. I don't know. Don't harass me, man. I'm doing the best I can. Hello, I think I might have some stuff for you. I don't know. I've been out there for a while. We haven't talked, so... Yep, there we go. Ah. All right, what did you give me there? 
No, 150 nanites. I'll take that. What am I out of nanites? I don't think I've spent any while. All right, I might be close to getting another fighter pilot. What's up, content? Welcome aboard. Let me see here. Nope. Nope. You don't have anything. I have nothing for you. You have nothing for me. All right, I'm going to fly out here and see if the old galaxy map shows me some water planets in this system. I went to that one. <clears throat> oh, good. Yeah, that's right. You weren't feeling well. I'm glad you're better, man. Glad you are better. I have a feeling after everybody coming out of hibernation, we're going to have a hellacious flu and cold season. I've not had even so much as a cold. Wait, no, I have one cold. But I used to get at least two, three, sometimes four colds every year. Usually one of them at least. And I haven't been sick in three years now. I had a mild cold got four or five months ago, but it passed quickly. But I have a feeling this winter is going to be rough, I think. All right, let me get out of here and check the galaxy map, see what it tells me. Oh, that's interesting. Let me check this here. Yeah, that was interesting. That I've never noticed this uh, HUD display being blank like that. Oh, well, interesting. All right, let's see. Okay, I don't really know. I don't know if this is... Provasco Resin. I don't know what that is, but I see a quest icon by it. So I think I'm going to go back in the anomaly and just try and teleport there because then I can save on the fuel I'm th I don't think I'm reading this right but I don't see any other indicators uh, I'm only coughing and before I was oh that's not good well, I'm glad you're feeling better man Vasco uh, I'm that sounds familiar for some reason let's go back into the anomaly and check this out yeah um, this this means this is gonna definitely sound weird, but I think some of relate to it. When I was a kid, uh, I didn't particularly enjoy school as a young person. I grew to enjoy it later in life, but when I was a kid, I hated going to school. So, uh, I didn't mind being sick. Um, you know, I did the typical kid thing a lot, pretended to be sick, but I was actually, you know, when I got sick, I was like, oh great, I get to stay home from school. Uh, it may seem like an obvious thing, but I I really, I get viscerally angry when I get sick now because I'm like, oh, I got too much to do. Uh, Provasco, something like that is what I'm looking for. I want to get up to the teleporter. This is going to be, you know, it's interesting. This does happen fairly often. Uh, I was really frustrated with this quest before, but sometimes, you know, I've noticed it with other games and life in general. You step away for a little bit, and, you know, I think some part of your brain is working on it even if you don't realize it. And then you go back to it, it's like, well, that's pretty easy. Yeah, there is there is that quest icon. I, I, I'm hoping it's this quest. I got seven more to go. Seven more subs to get to 300 in that race for a thousand. <laughs> uh, eventually it'll all happen. It really, it really does happen in fits and bursts. I did some ARC videos about a month ago and I wish, I can't wait for ARC 2 because I think Ark's a great game. I just I burned myself out on it a couple years ago, and I just don't I don't have any thrill for playing it. But I made like four videos for Ark, and I think in one day I got like 16 subscribers, which for me is huge. All right, here we go. Um, but I love this game. 
I really do. It does matter, though. Player base, popularity, all that. If you're streaming, you're doing stuff like this. Clearly, the more popular a game is, the more viewers you get. But this is just right for me right now. I love playing this game. And I like the crowd that's come along to watch. Now, this is the planet. I found my way back without having to use any warp fuel. So I'm proud of myself for that. Um... I think soon here, not too soon. I am far from bored with this game in any way. There's still so much to explore. But I've got... There's a couple games I downloaded that I really have not played. What is the one? Escape from Parapet, I think it's called. Tarkov games, they're old games. And I might bust some of those out just to break things up next week. I don't understand a word you said, sir. Yeah. Oh, here you go. Take that. Okay, you're welcome. Did he give me something? No, oh, I got some higher standing with the Corvax. That's great. So we got I got that going for me. On my deathbed, the Corvax will give me total enlightenment. I got that going for me. All right. I don't know. I, I think I remember I was going to wait until I got a water vessel to go and look for this, because I have, I have a very strange feeling this thing is underwater. But I'll tell you what, I'd be, I, I wouldn't say annoyed, but I would hope that the storyline would guide you, or at least give you a hint that you needed to pursue some other things before you could achieve this. Like, if it's underwater, well, this is the one where the water comes at you pretty quick, I think. Like you, yep, 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 yep. You clear the clouds, and then you're there. The water is right there. There it is. Good lord. All right, let's check here, see if anything shows up. I'm gonna try scanning. I'm pretty sure this ship can't go in the water. Can it? I don't want to experiment. We're on permadeath, so... Oh, good lord. It would make sense to me that whatever this fragment... Retrieve non-existent data from an anomalous structure. That's irritating. Uh, where is the approximate location? Am I just above it? Yeah. All right, let's go down here and see where we can land. Mission destination reach land. You're not going to let me land in the water. I knew it. I'm going to go over here to this thing and, and we're going to assess. There are small outcroppings. You know, what would be just and fair is if... There we go. If it actually is sitting on one of these outcroppings. But I have a very strong feeling. I was going to say suspicious. It's probably not right. Estimated distance. Now, here's the thing. Yeah, I know. You've said that four or five times. Has it improved sprinting efficiency? Oh, that's, I didn't know about that. I'm, I'm trying to guess here, and I shouldn't be standing in this toxicity while I do it, but that says 10,052 units. Okay, yeah, great. I'm getting back inside. Thanks for your warning. If I could get close enough, I don't know how bad... I don't know what that liquid is down there. How, how bad or corrosive it would be. I'm a little leery about jumping into it, but I think I'm going to have to eventually. Alright, here's what we're going to do. I, I'm going to have to island hop here. I don't have... Oh, look, that got pretty. Hmm. That's really lovely, actually. Uh, so, it is, it is this direction, right? Is there any place, I'm going to take off here in a second. Nope, it's not going to land that way. Let me see, I'm trying to find an island over here to drop a beacon on. Nope, you're not going to do it. What? Oh, come on, listen. Little sentinel guy, you are really adorbs. We all... Okay, it's this way. It's 1,000. 
it's not going to do it. Uh, let me see what direction this is. I guess that's the only thing I can do. North. That is north. Let me double check. Almost due north. Slightly off to the left of center. Let me um, get out of here and try and follow that. Go a little ways. And then see if I can land again and get closer to wherever this thing is supposed to be. But here's the thing. I think... It shouldn't be doing this, but it seems like that thing is directing me back towards the approximate location. Alright, I'm going to sail here for a little bit. Let's see if I can get a little bit farther. I want to land, but I don't want to waste the uh, launch fuel. I'm going to go past the approximate location thing. What is this down here? Heck with it, I'm going to land here. Oh, wait, wait, what is that? What is that? Oh, no, it's... Got all excited, but I think it's just another island. I think it might be the one I just came from. All right. uh, I, it's been a while since I've been here because it was so frustrating last time, but it seemed to me like the target was moving. 732. Well, yeah, because this doesn't make sense. Oh, hello. You're pretty. Pretty scary. Um, where is the approximate location? Uh, can I see it from the ground? It's not showing up. Oh, wait a second. No, I thought those two stars might up. 728. I'm going to have to go that way. But you see how this is? Where's north? North is this way. I did not fly that far, and yet this is really far off. Not what it was before. You're not going to land. That's too far. I see something. Gonna... So this has no directional on it. North is all the way to the left on the screen. Let's give this another shot. I don't have very many takeoffs left. Let's get north. This is what it was doing. I really hope it is not sending me on a goose chase. This... I was saying earlier, I was talking about, it's fun to figure these mysteries out, but I'd like to have at least some clue what you want from me. What is this? Anything? No. Let me get over here. 700 units. It's a little bit of distance. I'm going to try and keep on the path that look like the right path. I see that landing over there. I might go and try that. Maybe we can zero in on this thing, but I do have a feeling it might be under this uh, toxic-looking liquid. All right, I see nothing to land on out there, so we'll have to do this one. Let's give it a shot. <clears throat> Is that dramatic music heard in the background? Like something's chasing me? That's what it sounded like. Maybe I was hearing things. I was hearing things. All right, all right, let's get out, see what we can see. 519, well, it's getting closer. Now north is just off left of center again. All right, I'm gonna plant. No, because if I put, if I put down if I put down a beacon, it'll be there, and then it will distract me. Oh, great. I knew that was going to happen. How much do I have? 24? I have no launcher fuel. What do I need? Not frigate fuel. Do not need frigate fuel. I think I need some metal plating, right? No, nope, that's... Oh, no, that wasn't frigate fuel. Here we go. Dihydrogen and metal plating. Uh, I'm going to... I'm going... Oh, did I? I did, right? Yeah, I picked. I was going to say. I was like, did I pick that up from that other planet? I hope I did. Uh, I'm going to. Uh, I guess I'll just use all that. Where is. There we go. Should have more of this, too. Let's just cook it all up while we got it. There we go. I'm only do 250 anyway. All right, that's going to take a second. I want those thrusters, thrusters, recharge anyway. Let's see. I know there's not enough fuel. What do you think I'm doing, game? 
<laughs> I'm trying to make some. I don't think I think this is an exercise in futility because I don't I don't think that there's any high hydrogen out here. I'll check. Let me see. Mm, I don't see any. You got any that hydrogen in ya? Nope. Nope. Alright. Okay. Memory fragments. Those are like the, um... Well, they specifically call those one thing's grave markers. So I don't know if a memory fragment is the same. I don't know. I'm gonna go find out. I'm gonna solve this mystery today. I do think this thing is probably underwater, though. There we go. I'm gonna leave you out here for a second. Get you in the ship. Let me see. I can take a little bit of toxicity. Is that what I needed? Yeah, it is. Okay. Now, what else are you asking for? Oops, there it was. Dihydrogen. Do I have any dihydrogen gel that I just happened to perhaps accidentally bring along? I doubt it. But that would be exquisite. But my doubts are confirmed. I have no dihydrogen jelly. So, not going to matter. Oh, good lord. Buddy, what happened there? You got stuck. All right, let me, let me look and get some calibration. Now north. That's a pretty wide swath there it's given me. Look at that. Look at how far it lets me go. That doesn't make sense. That's irritating. Look at, look at how far I have rotated. I would not call that very accurate. Could be anywhere in here. Let's just go north. Yeah, I'm going to go north once the, my uh, thrusters get up. There you go. Uh, and it's at 500, so whatever this is over here, I'm going to land on it. I should have probably prepared a little bit, but, uh, you know, Scooter, he's just impetuous that way. He is one adventurous gerbil. Yeah, that made no sense. That was a... At least it seems, in my experience, that you get a little bit more accurate reading. Maybe it's trying to uh, recreate all the interference. I don't know. I don't know what's going on here. Really? What's he doing in the atmosphere? I'm not going up there. I've spent too much time. Hold on. Pardon me. Sorry. You're going to come over here and harass me? I, hopefully not. I really don't have the time for this nonsense. If I have to get airborne, I can't. I just realized because my thrusters are done. All right. What's going on? Oh, see, this is dumb. I'm, I'm done with this. Now it's saying it's a thousand units that way. Yeah, yeah. I don't know. I don't know what the mystery is here, and they're not really giving me enough information to logically figure it out. So I'm going to guess it's underwater. So when I get a Nautilus, I'll come back here and try that. That's what they call Nautilus? That's just irritating. And this is frustrating. Where are my thrusters at? 12%. All right, it's going to take a minute. Uh, I don't have any fuel for these bad boys. I, I really cannot figure. I, I'm not. I'm not amazing at directions, but I know I did not fly that far, and I was going the direction they said, and somehow I ended up 500 units away. So, whatever this little mystery is, I'm not very pleased with how little information they're giving about it or how hard it is to find. I don't mind the challenge, but this makes no sense. Well, look at that. It's, okay, here we go. 
It's moving. Look at that. 10,011. Alright. Uh, I had a feeling that might be the case. It's a moving target of some sort. Oh, good lord. There's a battle going on up there. Look at that. They're fighting amongst themselves. Is that the pirate? That... Huh. You know what? It'd be great if I got credit for that. Because I'm in the vicinity. That is pretty cool, I think. Let me see if I can use alt to watch it. Yeah. Oh, dude. Come on. What? Don't snap back. Where, is it? Where are they? Uh, got this thing. It's it's reversed. Yeah, that's not gonna work. That's gonna make me nauseous. Well, you guys really aren't doing a good job of hunting this guy. Yeah, I should have paid more attention to that before. The fact that this is moving. Estimated distance keeps changing. Alright. Uh, you know what we'll do? I'm not going to get salty about it. I think what I'm going to do is... Oh, wait a minute. Let me see. Let me see if... I don't think... Uh, I have discovered what I need to discover. That would fall under Exocraft, right? I'm pretty sure. Minotaur, the... the um, Underwater Dumahickeys. That would fall over here. I don't think. Yeah. That's something different. Yeah, I have not done whatever it is that I need to do to get to the Nautilus. No. I think it was one of the main missions that eventually brings you there. But purchase technology blueprints. No, I don't really care about that. I, I couldn't tick that box in my other save either, so. I don't know, maybe it was a random event that got me to the quest that uh, brought me to the underwater fun. But I am not there yet in this game. I would love to get there. Good lord, those guys are still fighting up there. Huh. Alright, let's... Nope, not enough still. How much? 23%. What do I need? trying to gauge that. Do you, are you going to require 50%? It's... Can't be. No, this would be 100%, but I don't need 100% to launch. Uh... Let's try it at 25. This quest is giving me a headache. I don't think I would mind so much if I could do the analysis from the cockpit and fly around, but you have to land, <clears throat> as far as I know, to ascertain the distance, estimated distance, which is what is irritating to me. If I could fly around and check that up top, I don't think I would be as frustrated. Here we go. Nope, not enough yet. 28%. It says 28% up there. Why are you saying 27% down there? Uranium. I'm going to remember to take that uranium from the starship, put it in here. I don't think I... I realized till this uh, little session that I could use that for launch fuel. I'm guessing it lasts longer. I don't know. Maybe not. 
jump up to 30, would you? Extreme night toxicity detected. That doesn't sound pleasant. Let's see, is this enough? 30%, now I know. You gotta be at 30%. Let's get back out here, get to the old space anomaly. Hmm, cool planets. I like the uh, cool colors. Let's get out of here. Yeah, I'm pretty sure I remember I could call that Nautilus ship in wherever I was. I'm going to wait until we get to wherever it is we are in the storyline so that we can call that. And then we'll come back to this. Except I'll, I'll wait and see. I'm not going to not gonna forecast the result, but I sure do hope. Let me see if I can discover this planet on the flyby. Yep. I think there's one on the other side, but it's not gonna let me from hyperdrive look that way. It just, it angles like that. Yep. There's one over there, but I don't think I can. Great. I don't want to mess with you guys. I don't want to mess with you guys right now. I was going to try and chart that planet, but not that important to me at this point. Nope, they ain't going to get me in here. You know what I'm going to do? Just for fun, now that I have the units, is go over and talk to this scrap dealer. I don't remember running one of these missions, but every time I come to the, one of these space stations, it tells me, hey, you should go check out that scrap dealer. He's right over there. Go check him out. And I never do. Well, I did. And I found out he wanted lots of money or something. I'm going to get coordinates. This better be good, buddy. That's all I'm saying. I hear a faint, rapidly modulated whistle. Then, with the faintest nod of the head, the Corbex hands me a small radio device. All right. Emergency signal scanner acquired to use it. Locate the receiver in the inventory tab. All right. Uh, I'm going to get back on my ship here and take like a quick 30 second um, sabbatical, but I'll be back. All right. I am back. Oh, let me catch my monitor up. God, I'm so far. The thing is lagged so far behind. It must have buffered a couple times. Here we go. Uh, let's do this. Where is... Here we go. A single-use receiver that scans for distress signals on freighter frequencies. Derelict or abandoned freighters often contain high-value salvage. Is that all that is? I paid, what, 8 million units for that? Let's see. Let's see if it's worth it. All right. Where is it? Activate the pulse drive. I don't think this is going to be worth it, but we'll see. Let's see. Here we go. Maybe it was worth it. You know what? I might start all over again. If this is an S-Class... I hate to do that. Maybe I won't. Is there a way to get in here? This is a derelict freighter. Uh, so, am I, no, there it is. There's a landing pad port. Well, I'm learning something new. Let's see what we got here. 
Uh, I would, you know, one thing I've, at least I've read about, if I decide I'm going to do, like, take over a new freighter. Um, oh, good lord. That's kind of a cool effect. Is it going to bounce off that? Activate capsule. Well, okay. I'll try it. Yeah, it did. Boom. Bounce it back the other way. That's kind of cool. Oh, nice. Uh, not really worth 8 million units yet, but getting there. Oh, it took my sodium, so I needed that. Oh, this is new. This was... Uh, well, uh, again, not going to say it's worth 8 million units yet. What is this? Docking bay door. MS Tober's glory status. Severe incident. Total lockdown. Access denied. No crew life signs detected. Crew manifesting captain's log may assist incident diagnosis. Oh, wait. This... I'll get 8 million in some other place. This was worth it. Cargo integrity 94%. Salvage and recovery likely. Access doors have been automatically sealed and internal systems disabled. Manual restart required to begin recovery. Restart internal gravity. There we go. Warning. Gravity calibration error. Freedom of movement reduced. Internal environment protection is offline. Attempt manual generator restart. Restart error. Error. Unable to restore primary heat control. Protection against extreme cold temperatures required. I think I have that. Emergency fabrication unit available. Access supply cache. Uh, is this an either or thing? Like if I collect these. I'm going to do this. Uh, okay. I gotcha. There's a heating lamp. That helps. Let's see. Door seal removed. Yeah, this thing looks like it's activated now. Uh, these things are haunted, aren't they? I think perhaps I would like the bolt caster. What is that? Is that going to zap me? Locate terminals with the analysis advisor. Collect data from terminals to learn the fate of the crew. Use the scanner to highlight loot within the current room. Claim highly valuable technology from Engineering Corps. Gotcha. Let's see. What did that give me? Anything? Uh, my health is going down, which is not cool. Okay, get that back up. What is that thing? Oh, good lord. Good lord. I didn't know he was going to do that. Well, I got to get out of here. Come on, run, run. Why isn't he running? Oh, because my movement is limited. <gasps> this is going to be more difficult than I thought. A lot more difficult. Uh, I need to get out of here because my health is really going down. There. Okay, let me get back to the ship and get my health back up. Okay, this is more exciting than I thought it was going to be, but I like it. Uh, let's get that health back up. Good lord, Scooter. I'm sorry, bud. I, I did not know it was going to do that. Alright, let me see if I want to get out. My health is fine. Game not saved. A what? Oh, man. This is double jeopardy. I mean, I'm on... Uh, I'm on... I'm a death here, so if I die on this derelict ship, that's it. All right, let's go. This is a lot more exciting than I thought it was going to be. It looks like my health is back, which is good. All right, so I don't have any choice. Scooter's going to keep that at the ready no matter what, and I have to move at this speed, so... 
Let me see here. I think if I stand right here, he can't get to me. There we go. Okay, what am I looking for here? This is my first derelict ship. I'm a scared. I'm a scared. Okay, this is the log here. Partial crew equipment record follows. Name, specialist. I have no idea. Specialism, engineering. Personal locker contains navigation charts, unmarked pills, the power hammer, and miscellaneous torn up letters. Last access seven days ago. Detailed scan reveals the locker is partially dissolved. <clears throat> Door integrity failing. All right. Oh, look at that glove. That's pretty cool. I don't think that was there before. I think it waited until, uh, uh, they, I think I already, this is when I read, right? Yeah. I already read all this. It's just leaving it there in case I want to come back to it. Okay. I can respect that. Okay. What did I get? What is this grossness in here? Okay. Wow. Wow. Okay. Let's see if I can find another heating thing here. Here we... I'm gonna have to, uh... Be super careful here. I know, I know. Could you please just maybe give me... Another heating thing? Let me get back up here. I'm gonna have to... Go piecemeal on this. Let's see. Is this gonna warm me up? Good, good, good. Alright. Let me see. Well, this is more ex excitement than I expected. Um, it said to use my visor, but my visor really isn't showing me very much. Let me see if I put it on this. Nope, nothing. Uh, I don't think I've read this one. Monitoring of maintenance logs, SX, event record follows, data stamp, whatever, camera disabled in crew quarters, outcome, bridge alerted, disposal tube, cloggage in catering unit, outcome, alert, silenced, exponential mold growth in main engineering, outcome, pressure, compartment, vented into space, yikes, that does not sound good, venting into space, I don't think it's ever a good thing, can I get in here? Good lord. Let me double check back here. Yeah. Um, boy, this limited movement really is a little bit scary. Good heating unit. Thank you. I'm getting, I'm getting the lay of the land here. You got to make sure you uh, hopscotch to these things. Can I do anything with that? I don't think those chairs are very useful. Try. Nope. Okay. Uh, yeah, that's not going to matter very much. Okay, let's go the other way. Yowza, this is... Okay. I know, because I moved away from that. Let's go ahead and take this stuff. Anything good? I'm not really sure living slime is going to do me much good. I really don't think so. Could be wrong about that. Ooh. What in the heck is that? I think this may be a terrible... Ah, uh, Scooter. Might be the end. Why isn't it firing? Why am I not? Wait, hold on. Uh, why is this forcing me into first person? Why can I not? All right, I gotta get back by a heating unit. Let me get over here. Uh, that was doing something funky in there. I'm guessing it was supposed to do it. 
but it was forcing me into first person and my blaster wasn't doing anything. Wonder if I can come back to this thing or if once I leave, that's it. Alright. Alright. I don't know what's going on here. Should I just leave let sleeping dogs lie? There we go. Apparently you have to get in here. Um this is gonna be awful. It's not letting me do it. I don't quite understand what's going on with that thing. Uh, here we go. Do not attack me while I'm reading this, I implore you. Records, terminal access, searching, security overwrite history, financial history, encrypted, crew manifest, accessible. Let's look at it. Crew status as of last shipwide bioscan five days ago. Commanding officer, captain, whatever. Duty officers, temporary officer, blah, 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 blah. Crew status report. Crew active, times 34. Crew deceased, times 79. Yikes. Supernumeraries. Trade gek, blah, blah, blah. Work gek. Updated bioscan. Let's try it. Scanning ship for biological traces. Mysterious. Nothing but ellipses. No detected biological trace matches. Crew records. They're all gone. They're dead. Retrieving last known crew positions. Redacted. Temporary officer. Error. Multiple locations two days ago. Quartermaster. Waste disposal. Pipe 13. Oh, that's not good. Acting lieutenant. Emergency transmitter five days ago. Okay. Crew manifest. Glory. A copy of the official... Crew manifest. Great. That's going to drop while I'm reading this? Captain temporary whatever else. This document would be highly valuable to those concerned. Okay, well good. I got that document. Uh, let me see if I see another heating thing. Uh, I need to... I'm going to just run back here. Uh, I don't see another heating thing close by. Um, it is not letting me shoot those things in there. At least I can't figure out how to do it. This is so exciting. I think this is the most exciting thing that's happened to Scooter and nobody's here to watch. Okay. I'm enjoying it anyway. I, I really... Oh, okay, we got that. Three of nine zones map. Captain's log recovered. I might... I don't see anything that says I have to kill those things. So... I'm going to leave them be if I can. There might be some valuable things I can get out of them, but... I'm going to take my chances. Uh, it's acting like that living slime is worth something. Some phenomenal dust awakens the infestation. Do I want to do that? I don't think so. Oh, I teleported. Automatically. Oh. What did it do? Take me back? Oh, it took me back here. Oh, that's great. That way. Yeah, let's get back over here. So, if things go awry. Uh, I probably don't want to wake up. Good lord, you hear that? Oh, that's... that's not pleasant. I'm going to try... I need to remember where that portal is. Is there a way to... shut those things down, kill them, do something? Monitoring maintenance logs and bent record. <laughs> Hope my temperature's not falling while I read this. Pressure alert environmental control unit. Deployed backup. <laughs> Excuse me. Bulkhead failure and shuttle hangar outcome attended by local crew. Unexplained tissue matter in captain's quarters. Internal alert level raised. That doesn't sound good, does it? Rare item found. Acting with a security pass. Nice. Alright, uh, I'm going to go back and... I guess we'll read this. 
Research log entry follows. Collected non-carbon proteins from passing asteroid. Performed. Oh, then you did a bad thing. Extreme auditory event detected on subspace signal scanner. That thing screamed at you. That's what it sounds like. All right, here we go. Boy, it really is too bad nobody's here to witness this uh, scooter adventure. Maybe somebody, maybe in the future. Because this is an adventure. All right, we're warmed up. Let's go back. I hope. I hope this works out for Scooter and me. What is this? Doorway. Doorway. All right. Uh, I think I have to blast my way through here. And I think it might... Okay, see, this is weird. It's not. I, I don't quite know what to do here, and it looks like the game has frozen on me. Uh-oh. Yep. Ugh. This, the game. I might have to go back and do this all again. Alright, guys, you know what? It's getting close to my normal quitting time. I'll probably be back a little bit later, but I gotta go take care of some business. I'm gonna close this program and hope to God it doesn't kill me. Uh, I'm gonna end the stream before I do that. <laughs> I'll let you know what happens on the other side. I should be back in a few hours, uh, probably, maybe, uh, depending on my day goes. Uh, thanks for being with me. Please come back to see if Scooter survives this glitch. And if we have to start all over again, might be a good place to start for a whole fresh stream if we can come back to someplace fun like that. All right. Uh, talk to you guys later. Bye-bye.